things were uh, pretty quiet around the neighborhood, I took the opportunity to put up some walls. I've even made ourselves a backyard. You can probably see it over top of the house there. Let's head back there, take a quick look. We're going to be spending the next uh, few episodes setting up a garden back here. But yeah, aren't things so much uh, calmer in New Denver now that we've burned most of the zombies? Yeah, never mind. There are still a lot of zombies in New Denver. <laughs> they're just... <laughs> Thankfully, they're not by our place. Oh, there we go. Some aluminum. Awesome. I think we actually have sparklers here. Let's unpack our sparklers. I think we have hairspray. Unpack hairspray. And let's unpack this aluminum. We can actually make a bomb. Oh god, okay, here we go. Ready? And bam! Woo! <laughs> Loop around, oh, this must be a school. That might be a good place to find some books, hey? We can check that, oh, what, 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 what? Oh my god! Scratched, burned, bleeding? Oh, shit! Okay, so note to self, don't run towards the explosion. Oh, great, and gunfire. Oh, god. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Season 4 in New Denver with Mr. Adam Sinclair. Just finished changing out a bandage on our burned arm. You guys probably remember last episode we used an explosive for the first time and uh, I guess it went as you might expect. Those kind of things would go when we play this game. We blew ourselves up. We almost killed ourselves, but we are still alive here. We're back at base now, made our way back here, and it's been a few days in between episodes. Uh, just been mending our wounds. I think our uh, thigh is probably healed now. I haven't had to change the bandage in a while. Yeah, it is healed. Awesome, so just our burned leg to take care of. Looks like our garden is coming along nicely here. Things have progressed to the next stage, so I think we're gonna go ahead and plant a few more crops today. Let's hop into our shed, grab some, let's see here. Strawberries. We haven't... Did we plant strawberries? I don't think we planted strawberries last time. Let's plant some strawberries. And we'll plant some more potatoes. That's enough strawberry seeds. Uh, potato, potatoes. We like our potatoes. We can make a potato cannon. Uh, so potatoes would be good. And what's the third crop that we should plant? Some more broccoli? Sure. Actually, I don't think we actually planted broccoli last time, so... We'll plant some potatoes, some broccoli, and some strawberries. Looks like I'm gonna have to grab a few more strawberry seeds here. I never actually pay attention to how many are actually planted in one go. Well, apparently more than I grabbed. All right, that should be enough now. All right, so some strawberry plant. Nice. And we'll sow some potatoes. Good the rest of these away. As you can see on the lawn I've got a crate of lumber that I've binded together for us. So we're going to be doing a little bit of carpentry work today. I think we're actually going to try out the wooden dowels mod. Uh, so let's head over to our crate of lumber. We'll unpack it. It's nice that we can actually just unpack it on the ground. I'm not sure if that's new uh, or if that's a uh, what it always, how it always was. We'll unpack one stack of lumber here. Okay, so we've got 12 planks. Look at all these things that we can make. Well, we're not really interested in any of these. We're interested in making some wooden dowels. There we go, craft wooden dowels. We'll need a screwdriver and a saw. Let's go ahead and craft one. And... Are you crafting it? I don't think you're crafting it. No, I think we're gonna have to take out these uh, items here. I've got the screwdriver and the saw in our backpack, so let's unpack these two things. Oh, we can't unpack them because we are overweight. 
It wasn't a bug, we were just overweight. Okay, we'll drop those stacks. Let's try this again. Craft wooden dowels. Nope. Still overweight. Still overweight. Alright, drop a plank. Drop another plank. Drop another plank. That should be enough now. Craft wooden dowels. There we go. Crafting. Gotta keep an eye on your inventory weight. There we go. So crafting wooden dowels out of one plank will give you three wooden dowels. Now to build most anything, we're gonna need several wooden dowels. For a wall, we'll need six. For a door, we will need eight. For a window frame, we will need eight. Even just for a wooden floor, we need two. Now what I want to use these wooden dowels for are making a few more uh, lamp on pillars for inside the house. So I've got uh, three in mind that I want to do. So we're going to need eight times three is 24. So let's go ahead and I think we'll just craft the rest of these planks into wooden dowels. Let's do that. Craft uh, all 11. No, I think it's actually grabbing them from the floor. Let's move away from those. Craft wooden dowels all eight. All right, let's do it. Speed up time here. You can hear the zombies pounding away on the doors. I've actually replaced the door, uh, this door on this end of our backyard once already in between episodes. Okay, so we've got our dowels. Let's see here, how many dowels do we have? 27, more than enough for what we wanna do right now. Let's head inside. I've already dropped off materials for our lamps where I want them. Got some stuff right here. So we'll need two planks, a rope, and a flashlight. You guys know the recipe for that. We'll pick these up. Ba-bam! And build with dowels. Lamp on a pillar. Planks three. We need three planks? Are you sure? We only need two planks if we're doing it otherwise. Okay. So you need more planks when you're building with dowels. Good to know. I did not know that. Let's go grab some more planks here. So I'm going to need to pick up at least three. Pick up one. Oh, there's three there. All right, four. This is enough. Let's head back inside. Try this again. So I've got one out in the hallway here. I've put uh, one down at the bottom of the stairs and then one in the kitchen as well. So those are the three locations we're going to be building our new lamp on pillars with the dowels mod. And not like we really need to build the dowels at this stage. We still have lots of nails, but figured what the hell. So we're going to build one there. Nice. Turn off. So it does get quite dark in here at night. We've got one uh, lamp upstairs already. Let's pick these up. Build with dowels, lamp on a pillar. But building with the... Um, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be in here, because when the doors are closed, the light won't be going anywhere else, but whatever. It's done. And here's where I'm going to build a third one. So pick those up. Build with dowels, lamp on a pillar. And let's just face it like that. There we go. So we now have... All the lights that we think we'll need. We might put one more in the garage later on. But I think that was all the flashlights we had for right now. So let's uh, head back into the backyard. We'll close this garage door. That door's closed. Uh, that door's closed. Okay. Just make sure we close all the doors behind us. Okay, our bandage is actually dirty. Let's uh, change that out quickly. Bandage our right forearm. Good. Let's head outside. We are quite hungry as well. So we will have some MRE. Okay. I also started removing grass in our backyard. So it looks a little bit tidier. I've also added some, some wooden flooring here in our garden area. 
might add a, uh, a fence around it as well. We'll see. Make it look all pretty. I've also got a baseball bat, monkey wrench, and duct tape on the ground here. We're going to go ahead and craft us a monkey wrench baseball bat. So we should probably start using our blunt weapons. We have not uh, upgraded our blunt skill hardly at all. But our first aid is actually able to be upgraded to level 2 right now. So let's throw a skill point into that. All that bandaging came in useful after all. So we'll go ahead and craft a baseball bat with a wrench. Of course, that takes a baseball bat, monkey wrench, and two units of duct tape. Get that crafted. Awesome. Okay, so now we have a baseball bat with a wrench. Nice. Get that one named as well. Uh, speaking of named weapons, our Graceful Axe of Ruin. Just double check those names and what they uh, are giving us. The Graceful uh, was, as we suspected, reducing the weight of the weapon. Um, although, it says weight of 3 right now. So that actually doesn't look like it's giving us the weight reduction. Hmm. But the uh, Of Ruin uh, does increase the minimum and maximum damage of the weapon. I wonder if it uh, reset after we got the second name. So I think it, it did weigh uh, 0.9 before. Now it weighs 3. Oh well. We'll survive. Uh, we are still hungry. We must have been quite hungry. Let's have some more MRE here. There we go. And what else? I think I had something else I wanted to do out here. But I can't remember off the top of my head. So I guess we'll just uh, put our nails and hammer away for now. If it comes back to me, we'll take care of it. Uh, speed up time for that. Let's drop the plank. Oh, our backpack is full. So I'll just throw our nails onto our shelves here, which I built in between episodes as well. There we go. Let's equip this with both hands. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, I wanted to build a rain barrel. That's what I wanted to build. I do have four garbage bags here. So, let's grab one of these stacks of lumber. That was the thing that I wanted to do. We'll unpack this. Pick up our garbage bags, which we can't because I've overweighted ourselves. Drop those planks. Okay, let's do it. Seems uh, highly unlikely that no matter how much you were carrying, you could still probably carry four garbage bags. Okay, grab a few nails. Okay, let's build a water collector out here. Oh, get our hammer out. And then, once this is built, uh, we could build it with dowels, but we'll just build it with nails. Rain collector barrel, we're going to put it right in this corner. So once that is finished, I think we're going to do a little bit of foraging. Uh, we can forage in the backyard, I, I noticed here. So we might as well forage here, but uh, perhaps we should take care of this pesky zombie outside. We can use our new baseball bat with a wrench for that. Let's just drop everything else that we're carrying here that's weighing us down. And you guys leave me comments uh, below for what uh, buildings, how many uh, outhouses should we build back here? We could probably fit like three small rooms across here we could even we could even like build walls around this whole thing and then just leave a hole in the ceiling for the to come down through the sheet ropes that might be kind of cool anyway that we could prob probably also fit uh, a ton of rooms on this side so yeah let me know below We'll uh, maybe get to that next episode in the next episode or two. Okay, so we got our baseball bat. We are still a bit overweight here. Let me drop off a few more things. Drop off our ropes that we have. A thick rope, screwdriver, and sock can go on the backpack. Extra wooden dowels can go on the shelf. And 
let's see here nails can go up there hammer backpack hammer backpack nope backpack is full okay 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 all right all right what do we have in our backpack that's weighing it down so much we got 38 rounds of nine millimeter ammunition we got some glue that can go on the shelf There's a, a Molotov. That actually weighs quite a bit. An extra pistol I picked up. Uh, let's just put that up here for now. And do 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 do. Wooden dowels. Put some more in my backpack for some reason. Put those away. Now we should have enough room to fit our hammer. And perhaps our screwdriver. Yeah. All right. Close enough. Still a little bit overweight, but close enough. Let's go take care of some of these zombies. We'll see how many there are. It sounds like there might be two or three at the door. Oh, God. Run away. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I thought they were at the other door. I guess they broke through that one. All right, let's take some pills here. We're pretty tired, but we aren't exhausted, so... I think we'll be able to take care of these guys without too much problem. Quite a bit of knockback on this uh, baseball bat wrench. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's kicking off. Alright, fall down. I'm going to smash your brains in. Sounds like someone's coming up behind us. Yes, they are. Okay, here we go. It might be prudent in this situation to switch out to our awesome axe. But we need the skill, the skill points in our blunt weapons. We need to start leveling that up. Sacrifices must be made. As long as we don't get bitten. There we go. Get smashed. Nice. Uh, did they break through? Oh, they broke through the window. I see. The window on that garage. I wonder if the barricades don't last as long as a, uh, a door. I guess that would make sense. Here, let's switch out to our awesome axe. Just finish this up and get to bed. Our graceful axe of ruin. We've had some pretty sweet names with this mod so far. I think, though, the evil axe of the hawk was the best one. Okay, so we're going to have to patch that up in the morning. We will leave it for now, because it is getting quite dark. We'll head up, go to sleep, and we'll pick up in the morning. Alright, so let's check out uh, what's behind this door. Behind door number one. Two zombies. Four zombies. Many zombies. Much zombies. All gonna be dead here. Redeaded. A compass. We'll take the newspaper. Any more zombies back here? No? Alright. Close that. Let's pick up some of these planks. We will unpack our hammer. Board up this window again. Make sure we're safe. And that should be enough. Okay, or unpack them all. Nope, not in there. Wrong one. In there. Okay, let's board this up again. Barricade. 
It'd be cool if you could, uh, instead of just barricading with planks, if you could um, maybe like get scrap metal or something and uh, barricade with scrap pieces of like corrugated metal. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so what do we want to do now? Foraging, that's right. Okay, let's put this uh, stuff away we don't need right now. Let's see what we can find in our backyard as far as foraging goes. Have a bit more of our MRE once we put those nails away. It takes so long to put nails away. Alright, forage. Speed up time. What did we find there? We found a few things. Some bark, six berries, and that's it. Bark and six berries. Alright, we'll do this for a, a few rounds and I'll come back and we'll see what we found okay let's see here so that's the bark the berries some birch bark got some grass I think we can actually make twine out of the grass yeah let's make some twine how much twine did that give us one thing of twine cool got some violets good that'll be good for uh, the beekeeping we'll need that to make the honey Cool. Okay, let's use one of these crates uh, to store this foraging, these foraging items. I've used this crate to uh, start collecting branches and twigs. And I guess uh, the suggestion with putting these uh, crates in front of windows, they actually meant to stack the crates on top of each other. I guess that kind of makes more sense than what I did. <laughs> but uh, it seems to be working nonetheless. Alright, put the violets in there too. Okay, we actually might have a foraging textbook. We should probably read that. Uh, we've got another skill point ready to go here into blunt accuracy, so let's do that. Uh, we do have the uh, blunt maintenance boost as well. You guys can remember from our initial character loadout. Let's hop downstairs. I got all of our base knowledge books here. Down here, master. Oh, we got a master trapping. No trapping for beginners, though. In between episodes, I'll try and read some... Oh, Farmer for beginning. We should uh, read that one. But I'll try and read some of these beginner's books. Beginners? Beginner books? Uh, for next episode. It doesn't look like we have a trapping for beginners. So let's head out. We'll do a little bit more foraging. And I think we'll go out and do some zo more zombie killing with our blunt weapon. See what... Uh, if we can get another level up. Alright. Forge for pretty much the rest of the uh, evening here. Got a couple berries. We are a little bit hungry. It's not going to do much. If anything for our hunger. It's only one hunger each. But Got some more birch bark. A chipped stone. Uh, what else? We got some branches. Twigs. That's about it though. Okay. Well, let's put this stuff away. We'll uh, get to bed, and we'll do some zombie killing in the morning. So we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Oh, and it is freezing. Body and mind obsessed by cold. We are at October first. My God. Okay, I guess it's time to put our pants back on here. <laughs> we took those off uh, last episode again, but uh, just happened in our backpack, so we'll throw them back on. That should warm us up, hopefully enough. We are wearing a raincoat, uh, which is the uh, same, uh, same temperature rating as a sweater, I believe. 15, yeah. We do have that fleece upstairs, or that down jacket, I should say. Uh, so we can put that on if this isn't going to be warm enough. Let's see what we got for zombies over here. I'd like to get rid of this last group of trees so we can have a full line of uh, sight. Got our wrench and baseball bat equipped here. Let's open up our skill menu. We can watch the blunt accuracy slowly increase. Drag this guy out. Good. There's always quite a few zombies over here, as you can tell by the body. Uh, the body amounts, body levels count. 
There we go. Ooh, I thought I saw that guy's brain splatter. I guess I was wrong. He's a toughen. Back and forth. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, that's so annoying. When we hit our own wall. Okay. Getting a, uh, a weight. Oh, nice. I was just about to say. This is a king's baseball bat with wrench. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love that name. The king's baseball bat with a wrench. Just the way a king would have it. Okay, blunt maintenance. Upgrade. That's gonna upgrade a lot very quickly. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zombies here. This will be a good test for the king's bat. Swing the king's bat. <laughs> the royal bat with baseball wrench. Or royal bat with wrench. Well, bam! Well, bam! I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if the king name is a legendary name. It sounds pretty legendary and epic to me. It might even be knockback. Getting quite a bit of knockback and actually quite a bit of just critical damage here, too. Oh. I like it. You stand no match for the King's Bat. Well, bam! So this is like almost Katana territory. Speaking of which, we haven't found another Katana. Since that first one we had. Oh well, we seem to be doing just fine without them. Alright, we're starting to get tired now. Even for the someone with a king's bat, you still get tired. Come on. Come on. Oh, but the uh, durability is dropping on this thing. Wow. Well, let's see, did we get another... <laughs> oh, no, accuracy is slowly going up. Okay, it's gonna take a while for that to level up. Well, I'd say that was pretty productive. We've actually got some uh, time here. We could loot a couple homes on this side. I don't think we've gone into any of these homes over here. Come on. We should make a showcase shelf for all of our named weapons from the mod. In remembrance of their service once they've become depleted of durability. Alright, let's grab those. And we might as well switch this out to our secondary. Put the king's baseball bat just as a primary weapon. American history, let's see here. Electrical engineering. Cool. Although we are an electrician, so we probably don't need that. Are we an engineer? What are we? We're an engineer. Okay. Reptile field guide, cool. Oh, we're getting pretty tired here, guys. Alright, let's just take care of these two, and then we'll head back and uh, maybe call it an episode before something goes wrong. <laughs> Go one whole episode without a disaster. <laughs> okay, guys. I think that'll do it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We uh, tried out some foraging today, building with the Wooden Dowels mod. Got some more gardening done. Let's see uh, where these are at, these plants. 
young cabbages, well watered. All right, things are looking good. But yeah, leave me some comments below. What uh, should we do with the backyard here? Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.